I've said this before. Stop looking at averages. It's over. The average FPS was 200 in Rust. Do you guys saw that shit? Average was 200. 60 lows. AMD has made average obsolete with their architectures. Yeah, I did not use the Rust built-in benchmark. I'm going to try that today, too, because I don't know if the problems that I encountered will show up on the built-in benchmark, but if it does, then great, I'll use it. If it doesn't, then I'm not going to use it because, um, right... It's always better. It's always better to use in-game gameplay for an esports style game, right? Unless the built-in benchmark has a shit ton of amount of assets or something, right? We'll see. We'll see what happens today, right? If I don't care about hardware, why the hardware test? Because that's how I'm objective, dude, because I don't give a shit about it. That's exactly what you want, dude. Um... I have that's what I'm saying I have no emotional attachment to any of this shit that's that that's exactly what it is right um because let me put it this way the goal is FPS whatever tool required to get it doesn't matter how do i get it it's like it's like um you need to hammer a nail in some wood it's like you have a choice between five different hammers one of them's like black and decker the other one's like dewalt the other one is whatever the fuck it is I don't buy based on the brand of hammer, dude. I pick them up and I try them. I'm like, this one fits the best. Just fucking use this one. I don't give a shit about the brand of hammer, dude. It's just a tool. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have an emotional attachment. It's like, it's like, would you rather have advice from that guy who doesn't give a shit? Or would you rather have advice from like, the logo of this Black & Decker hammer makes the hilt looks... I don't want advice from that guy. He doesn't hammer shit. I want advice from the fucking lumberjack that works on that shit eight hours a day, dude. Plays fucking games. You know, it's not It's not rocket science here. It's weird that people don't understand that. Oh yeah, look at those 1% lows, dude. 20 FPS. Yeah, this works out good. This is what I wanted to show. brutal it's unplayable this is why i was saying i don't think you might what you might want to avoid the 7800 x3d you might want to avoid that shit this this game takes the nakatomi plaza problem to a whole new level dude look at the averages right 200 average 30 low dude it's unplayable it's unplayable, dude. So I, I'll talk about I'll talk. Look at the texture pop in too, right? I'll talk about this. Um, this is a great benchmark. Thank you for telling me about this. Whoever suggested it earlier, dude. So I now I, I gotta go. So it's okay that my CPU was. I gotta go back and redo all this shit now. Great benchmark, dude. No, I, I'll 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 go into um, I'll go into a game and show you. It was the exact same thing in game two, dude. Check this out. Uh, do you keep your AMD CPUs? I only keep the ones that are the fastest. So I sold my 5800X and I sold my 5950X. I only have the the 3D now, right? Because that's the fastest one on that platform, right? Otherwise, I can't. I don't have any space to keep shit, right? I was about to buy a 500X. Now I see this. Yeah. 
I'm telling you, the, the, the title of this video is going to be AMD's biggest problem. Because I uh, people were requesting Rust and Tarkov for a long time. It plays fine in Tarkov, by the way. But when I was playing Rust with the 5800X3D, I'm like, this is unplayable. You can't play the game. It does the, the problem doesn't come up on the Intel CPU. It's not this is not a fanboy thing. I only provide data, right? It's unplayable, dude. Um there's this game, this game specifically has way too many assets. It has to load in and out. Way too many. You can't use chiplets with this game, right? I'm glad I even did this. So now this game is the new fucking I would say this game is like the architecture benchmark, right? I don't, I don't think Intel will have a superior chiplet. Chiplet's a chiplet, dude. The, the silicon is physically moved away from another piece of silicon. Atoms move at light speed. There's, you cannot accelerate that like, with like some tachyon boost. It doesn't wait. If they can go fast and light of speed, is that CPU going to make you travel back in time? Like, it's not... The, no, it's impossible, dude, right? The 13900K is going to be the last CPU that works, right? And the 3D chip, unless we have HBM chiplets, right? Maybe. But the, the 5800X3D, this was like the... It solved most of the chiplet problems, but then I launched this game. No, not happening. Go find a building. No, it's. I think that's a good question to ask, though, right? Let's move the mouse. I'm just moving the mouse in a circle. This is why I said the lows were 60 FPS. Dude, it's, it's giving me a headache just looking at it. You know what you can do for content? Just join large uh, Rust servers and just look at chat. Yeah, it's brutal, dude. It's brutal. Look at this. 60 in the lows. Yeah, right? So, eh. Uh, um. Now, now after, so here's the thing. It is one game, right? It's one game that's doing this and it could be the game, but here's the thing, right? If, it, why wouldn't you just go and buy an Intel CPU and then just not risk this, right? Why risk it? Why, why would you, why would you go buy the 3D chip now and be like, huh, there might be a, what is this? Hey, there's a dick. What the hell? I like that the tab menu covers it. What the fuck? Yeah, I get in there. Yeah. Open that mouth. Anyway, so the what the point was, um why would you buy so people that are people that picked up zen 4 right i might upgrade to um zen 4d one day i don't know that so when i ran the rust benchmark it really opened my eyes to the chiplet problem dude i'm like mm, ah. Uh, right. Uh, anyway, I hope that I just, uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys today on stream. I'm like, um, don't until I test it, don't go out and buy shit. Seriously, just don't do it because you just don't know, man. Now that I have, I have rust, I have Tarkov, I have Warzone, I have Spider-Man, I have, I have the conglomeration of games to test everything thoroughly now, right? 
Just wait until I fucking review it before you buy anything if you want to be safe about it, right? Um, what I was going to say was if you don't play Rust, then why worry about it? Don't let it ruin your day, right? I'm just saying if you haven't bought anything yet, uh, not really a reason to go AMD when shit like that can happen, right? What if, so look, check out, um, like, uh, Ground War had a lot of high rises in that small map, right? What if there's like three or, or four, I've been telling this, I've been telling you guys this for a long time, but what if they have like three or four Nakatomi plazas in a small area? You're going to be fucked on AMD, right? Ah, you know what I'm saying? So basically... AMD's biggest problem in a game like Rust. I've done this before, right? There's too many hops, man. That's all it is. Hop here, hop here, hop here, and then hop back here. And when it comes to Rust, Rust specifically, these hops tank it completely, right? Now, here's the other thing. I've said this before. Stop looking at averages. It's over. The average FPS was 200 in Rust. Do you guys saw that shit? Average was 200. 60 lows. AMD has made average obsolete with their architectures. Don't look at it. It's irrelevant. It's meaningless. Just throwing this out. People on Rust have a 5950 and play at 6 to 50 FPS. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't tested this until now. I picked up Rust and Tarkov for my Zen 4 benchmarks. And then once I saw this, I was like, oh, the AM dip. Still there, man. Even with 3D V cache, it's still there, dude. Brutal brutal also i don't have to prove anything to you man if you're happy i'm happy you need to prove your numbers jufus no i don't i don't have to do shit you're happy i'm happy i don't care what you buy let me see it i need to see the numbers do what you want. Sarah, I, get, I, get, I get this a lot too, right? Um, I get this a lot. Especially with the DDR5 topic too, right? Oh, shit. I get this a lot about the DDR5 topic too, right? They're always like, uh, this tuber said this. Thoughts? I always reply with this answer. Pick who you trust and make your decision based off that. All I'm going to say on the topic. Just pick who you trust. If you want to trust that large guy, I wish you the best. If you want to trust me, I wish you the best. I will never try to convince you of anything. I don't give a fuck. But, but that hardware unboxed guy said this. Okay. You have my data. You have somebody else's data. Make an informed decision based off of your own internal filters. It's like, that guy has a million subscribers. He must be the more legitimate source. That's a that's a viable conclusion. He, he got a million subscribers somehow. It's a viable conclusion, right? And if you want to go that route, I wish you the best, right? I don't know what people want from me exactly. Why do, why do people want me to convince them of stuff? That's, that's what I don't get. I don't care. I really just don't give a shit. Well, let me catch up here. I only use this information for consults and stuff too, right? If somebody's like, I need Tarkov FPS, I know how to optimize it for that guy now, right? I know what, what parts to recommend. I know how to optimize it. And I know all that shit now, right? If somebody's like, I need Rust PC, I got that shit in the bag too, right? Warzone 2 PC, right? Do you just, you pick the hammer for the job, man. You know what I'm saying? 
And if you think that your hammer is better than mine or somebody else's hammer is better than mine, uh, pff, cool. I wish you the best. Uh, let me catch up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Fresh, 100%. 20 different people say 20 different things on the internet. Yep. Yep. Um, dude, you want to see how bad it really gets? Go to bodybuilding forums. Oh, good luck getting good information on that shit. Right? Good luck, dude. It's all different information of random shit that people... I don't... Right? Um, now, when it comes to hardware... What did I do? Or what, what should everybody do if they can, right? You find creators you vibe with. Right? You, you find a creator... Oh, I kind of vibe with this guy, right? Test a few things out to compare... You know, to make sure they're not full of shit, right? Validate. Make sure they're not full of shit. O almost everyone in the Discord's done this on me, right? They validate myself. Oh, yeah, this guy's not full of shit, right? And then, um... So, for me, when it comes to lifting, it was 3DMJ, right? Uh, Eric Helms, Alberto, Nunez, and then uh, that Chad guy, whatever his last name was. I remember his name. Once I found these guys, I tested a few of their diets and a few of their lifting protocols. It straight up worked for me. I'm like, okay. Uh, I've, I've tested something. I've found creators that I can trust. Now I don't watch anybody else and I only do what they tell me to. And I know it's going to work. Right? Um, that goes for all content on the internet, right? So you find some creators that you vibe with. You test a few of them out. Once you find one that you can trust wholeheartedly, everything else gets pushed to the side, and then that saves you time to focus on other shit, right? That's how it all... That's the only way to navigate the internet now, man. It's the only way.